Hello, long time no see. It's me, Strong Earth Creations, and we're gonna go straight into this tutorial with the materials, which is a yarn needle, a five millimeter hook, scissors, and some cotton yarn, or any yarn of your choosing. And we'll be starting with the mushroom lighter holder, which is the simplest of the ones that I'll be showing in this tutorial. It just has the stem of a mushroom and the cap, and you can choose any color combos that you would like. So let's get started with a magic circle or a magic ring. I show how to do this in other tutorials and I'm not going to be going much into depth on the actual instructions of how to do the stitches in this tutorial, but we're just going to be starting off with the magic circle and a chain two, and then we will be doing 11 double crochets into this magic circle. The first chain two does count as your first double crochet. Once you've finished your chain two and 11 double crochets, make sure to close your circle tightly and slip stitch into the top of your chain two. It might be a little difficult to find, but just rummage around in there, it's, it's somewhere. So go ahead and slip stitch and chain one. And from now on, we'll be doing half double crochets. So for this row, we'll be doing one half double crochet into every back loop. For your first stitch, just half double crochet into that same chain two um, space. But from now on, we'll be doing 11 more half double crochets into the back loop of every stitch. So you should be ending with 12 stitches. Once you've finished your 12 half double crochets, slip stitch into your first stitch. And make sure to turn your work so that it's right side out and your stitches are facing the correct way. Chain one, and we'll be doing six rows of half double crochet, or until you reach the height of your desired liking. But I found that six rows of half double crochet is the size of the standard lighters that I have. And every row will end with a slip stitch into your first stitch and a chain one, and then just continue on with your half double crochets. Once you've reached the height of whatever you'd like your lighter holder to be, go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch. And now we're going to chain for the keychain part. So I like to do a chain of 25, but you can do however long you would like yours to be. I've seen some be necklaces, some be shorter keychains, but I think 25 is a good length for me. Go ahead and cut a semi long tail so that you have enough for sewing and just pull that loop through to secure it off. Let's put this base to the side for now and we'll get back to it after we finish the cap. Now we can move on to the cap, so go ahead and grab whatever color you would like to use. I'll be using red and once again start with a magic circle, pull a loop through and chain one. This cap will only be made using half double crochet, so we will be doing six half double crochets into the magic circle. Pull your circle closed nice and tight and slip stitch into that first stitch. Chain one and here I'm just showing you that your slip stitch really looks like a stitch but it's not so just make sure you're counting your stitches to make sure you have the correct amount at the end of your row and for this row we will be doing two stitches in every stitch otherwise known as an increase in every stitch. So for this round, you'll be ending with 12 half double crochets. Slip stitch into your first stitch. Remember to turn your work outside so that the right side is facing outwards. Chain one, and for this row, we will be doing one half double crochet in one stitch, and then the next stitch, you'll be doing an increase. So two half double crochets into the next stitch, and then repeat that. In the stitch after that, do one half double crochet, and the stitch after that, do two half double crochets. You'll be ending this row with 18 half double crochets. Your 
last stitch should be an increase since your first stitch was just one half double crochet. Once you've got your 18 stitches, slip stitch into the first stitch, chain one, and now we will be doing two rows of regular half double crochet all the way around, leaving you with 18 stitches after both rounds. To finish off, slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one, and cut your yarn. Go ahead and sew in this end, and I will show you how I sew in my ends. So the way that I sew in my ends is I go through about five stitches. I just kind of eyeball it, whatever feels right and however long my yarn is. Pull that through and then skip the first loop that you just went out from and go in through every stitch before that. And then we'll be just doing that one more time. So skip the loop that you just went out from and go into the loop right after and just go through all of those other stitches and just cut off your tail and your ends should be really secure after that. Now that you have both pieces assembled, find where you want to insert your keychain part, the chains, and just insert your hook and pull through the tail. I like to make sure that everything is aligned perfectly by pushing the cap all the way down, making sure that it's level, and then going up, finding the symmetrical stitch, and pulling it through once again. And now you can just find the half stitch that's directly across from your first stitch where your chain is. Pull through that tail, tie a knot, and sew in that end. Here's the final product of the mushroom lighter holder keychain, and this is kind of the base for the rest of ours. The next one that we'll be moving on to is the flower. For this one, the base is exactly the same, but the cap is slightly different. So go ahead and make the base just like you did at the start of this tutorial, and then we'll move on to the flower part. So starting with your middle color, go ahead and make a magic circle, pull up a loop, and chain one. We will be doing single crochets for this part. So start with six single crochets into your magic ring. Pull your loop tight to close it. Slip stitch into that first stitch. Chain one and do two single crochets or an increase in every single stitch so that you end with 12 single crochets at the end of your row. Slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one, and just like the last pattern, do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochet or an increase into the next stitch and continue doing that until you have 18 single crochets at the end of your row. Slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one, and do two rows of single crochet all the way across. And then we'll be switching to our flower petal color, which mine will be blue. Cut your yarn to attach your next color. Go into that first stitch like you're doing a slip stitch and finish off the slip stitch with your petal color. Chain three and do two double crochets into the next stitch. Thank you. 
then do one double crochet in the stitch after that slip stitch into the next stitch and chain three this is your petal pattern chain three and then two double crochets into the next stitch and one double crochet into the stitch after that slip stitch chain three and repeat at the end slip stitch into your first stitch chain one and now we will do single crochets into the tops of your petals so at the top of your chain three do one single crochet and then do three more single crochets into those stitches And in the stitch where we did our slip stitch, go ahead and go in there and slip stitch into that. So you should be doing four single crochets and then a slip stitch for each petal. To finish off, slip stitch into that first stitch chain one, cut a tail, and then sew in your ends. And the assembly is just the same as the first tutorial, so just assemble like we did the mushroom. Now the cat is exactly the same as the mushroom one, except we will be adding ears. So the base and the cap are exactly the same. The only difference is ears, eyes, and a little mouth. So to make the ears, it's super simple. Start with a slip knot, leaving a tail to sew, chain three. In the second chain from hook, do one single crochet. And in that last chain, do one double crochet. And that is your ear. You're just going to insert it into your cap wherever you'd like your ears to be placed. And just tie the two tails together into a knot and sew in your ends. And then for the eyes, those are just safety eyes. And I will show you a little bit on how to make the nose slash mouth. But basically you just take a piece of yarn and loop it through a single stitch. So that's where I'll, I'll be showing this right here. Just take a piece of yarn, go in from the inside, and then go into the next stitch. And you can just do that multiple times to create a little nose. That's what the inside will look like with the safety eyes, and it doesn't mess with the function at all. Same with the B. This is exactly the same as the first pattern. I just alternated colors between every round and added a little mouth. I think this would be super cute if someone would add wings, but I didn't. Here is the finished product of all of the lighter holders that we made in this tutorial, and here's just a little example of what you could fit into these holders. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you do end up making this creation, please tag me on Instagram at strongearthcreations, and I will see you in the future video. Bye.